Alright, this is Bucky, and today we're going to be coaching Polka. He is a Pac-Man, and today he's going to be going against a Mewtwo. And this is Wadi. Uh, he's a pretty good player. He plays Robin Mewtwo, and it looks like Robin Mewtwo, right? Fun player cam. The bottom left uh, camera is him, by the way. I'm the bottom right. <laughs> anyway, um, playing against, uh, we're on FC, so he, uh, Mewtwo is definitely going to have a hard time getting into Pac-Man on FD, any character mostly, right? So, that's probably in, in our favor, the Final Destination pick, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, not much to say, it's good to, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, Poco says he wants to find habits that he missed or whatever, blah, 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 which we do anyway, so. Alright, it's gonna do it. That was good, uh, Saibi at disadvantage, not, okay. Okay, doing that is fine. If you know they're gonna drop shield or jump after you or whatever, right? Then doing that is totally okay, the landing of back air thing. But honestly, I would prefer it if you land on the side and get Galk or whatever, right? But if you want to brawl with him, go ahead. So yeah, Mewtwo's dash talk does launch the hydrant on first hit, right? Go like go for that. But it is punishable, so let me show you. Let me show you. So okay, so we're not imagine we're not in AR, we're we're sitting right here, right? Uh, it's good okay, so stand right here where my uh the the red marker is, right? And the hide's gonna launch this way. Mewtwo should stop right about here, and, and you grab him. Yes, smash him. You do a forward air, right? See that? Okay, maybe a little bit farther back, right? Right here, and you should be safe, right? So if you dash attacks the hydrant, you should be ready to punish him, right? You don't have to jump over it. You don't have to roll. You can rolling does work too, but I'm saying that you don't have to like um shield. No, no reason to shield. Just space, right? And be ready to punish the dash attack on hydrant again. Uh, now shield. Yeah, good. Hydrant. I would put that down there. So you lost the dodge in there. So you know, you want to land on top of your opponent when you land on the hydrant, which is good. It's always good to mix up, but if you if you you're gonna mix ups, you know, land safely sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Key, I would honestly go for key here if I were you. Yeah. So that is an issue. That's a reflector, right? So he thinks that since there's a hydrant here, and it's pretty common for pack ones to do this. It, oh, this is a prime, by the way. Um. It's pretty common for Pac-Man to throw the key into the hydrant, so he was thinking, okay, he's gonna throw the key, and he just kind of, you know, uses the and does, does reflect. So good, uh, good on you for holding on to it. I like that. And he also conditions your opponent to shield a lot, so you can definitely go for grabs, yeah. <gasps> that was good. That was a really good mix-up. <gasps> I like that. That was good. Yeah, it's a teleportation. Uh, tech that good, good, good. I would again, like just a small things, Poka, because you you already told me that you're a good player. Just uh, again, be, mix up your hydrant landings. That all pissed me off. <laughs> good tech, and I would have liked to see the hydrant and then trampoline into the ledge and then ledge trap him right with the hydrant or whatever. But instead, you kind of use side B for some reason. I don't know why. And he got to the stage faster. So if we hydrant and then trampoline, we could have got to the stage faster. Again, it's a small things. It's always the small things. So yeah, you want to get on top of him, and you gotta mix it up though. You have to, have to, have to. So yeah, that reflector does linger quite a bit. You can be ready for that. Did you get up shield? He jumps out of pressure. I have a key again. Please go low. Good. I can let him go low. It's good. So he has the uh, the new B. So what this means is, okay, so your key does go through the new B, and you're gonna throw it here. I'm gonna see what it does. He shields it. Okay, so same thing with him actually, because it's same basically the same thing. Um, we have both of you who has really good projectiles, right? And it would probably kill. Alright, so he has the charge and you have the key, right? So basically, if he wants to approach you, he needs to approach a shield or he needs to like jump to approach you or he needs to like uh basically he needs to look over the key and same thing for you, right? So it's gonna be basically um if he's gonna approach a shield, you gotta grab him if like like that. See, it's how you approach the shield, but you obviously you're not in the range to grab him. You probably reacts to that actually. Okay. Okay. I like how you kind of go for the uh, up, 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 up smash out of shield because uh, it is a thing. And the only thing is like a hard punishable, like um, Palutena dash attack or something like that, or Fox dash attack. Any kind of committing kind of move, up smash out of shield is up smash out of shield really good, right? It kills. Ooh, why we get grabbed? 
Because you want to keep landing on top of him, and um, he's already... Well, this guy's a good player, obviously, right? So he's going to go, okay, I'm just going to dash back. I'm going to do whatever back air down there. And then I'm going to grab him and back throw him, and it's going to kill. Right? This is why we got to mix up our hydrant landings. Um, pretty important. Nice to start. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good pressure. I was going to say, I, I, I honestly, if I was playing uh, against him right now, I would have thought he was going to roll towards stage or like, something like that. But it looks like he dropped shield. Yeah. I was I would expect him to roll. I already said that. If you're a little bit faster, that Gaka would beat that energy shot thing. You gotta hold it a little longer. Nuch attack. So he attacks after Nuch attack. Oh, not that time. Wait, which again mix ups, right? See, so he held shield like yeah. You see what I mean? Uh, did you just waste your jump? So that's twice that you kind of like jumped out of disadvantage. You got to like just okay focus on DIing out first, and then when you know you have like a a, um, a little spot you can jump out of, go ahead, right? But again, don't do it every single time. Not good, not good. So I like how you you realize that you don't have to jump, and so you just went to ledge instead. Very good. That roll there was good. <clears throat> hydrant, hydrant. He's looking for the hydrant too. See that? He's looking for you to do the hydrant. Alright, so that's gonna get pretty, that's the third time you've done this. The second time wasn't very um um didn't work very well. But yeah, basically if you can you know, keep doing this and then it's gonna become very predictable. This is a mix up that is a mix up for a reason. Don't do it every single time, right, right? Let's go. Real. So if you're gonna do fourth though, fourth though is a really good throw, right? It only does like eight whatever damage, but look at the angle that it sends them at. And look how fast you get out of the, the lag or of the fourth though, right? So you have a plenty of time to get on here and call out whatever landing option he's going to do. Or he's forced to go to ledge if he's not comfortable with um, trying to beat you out with a landing, right? So his options are either air dodge, attack you, or dodge jump and do whatever. Like DL out to right as he jumps, right? In this case, he does an attack, right? You kind of snuck under him and did up tilt. I wonder, I want to see if your up tilt will beat his neutral B. I want to see, I want to see if they can do that. Because if your up tilt can beat his uh, um, neutral B, I know your up smash will. Then. But up smash is more committing. Like, what the heck? I don't know. Like, I've seen pac ones do this. One second, one second. I've seen pac ones do, like, up air this, and I, I still didn't like it. And to do up air right here? The run there was fine. He, he's trying to grab you when you're landing. So, rolling and spot dodging is totally okay. That is not good. Doing that, the whole dodging thing, very predictable. Very, very predictable option, right? I think he tried calling you that out too. Jump to approach. His neutral B does click with the hydrant, so it's gonna be safe on him landing from. Roll pressure. Roll pressure twice. Jump out of shield. What's the chap? Okay, so this chap is he's gonna basically going to force you to either neutral up into shield, jump earlier, or just basically his left chap is entirely round, um, rounded about this thing, right? So good patience. That's the thing we gotta look out for. So again, like your key was just ba basically just conditioning him, just having that thing on deck and just saying, "Hey, I have key." We'll condition him to do stuff like this, which is punishable. Run up there and grab, right? Why is this close? I don't even remember the last. Why is this close? Roll out pressure again. I don't even remember the last. Calling out the drop shield. Okay. Maybe that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I got looking for. Mara said um earlier with the ledge trap thing, and uh, he's looking for you're calling out a jump, a neutral, a neutral get about whatever. Basically, then when you nuke him, you get him as a shield, he's gonna grab you. So you gotta mix up with the rolls, jumping afterwards, attacking you on a shield, right? Not he's not not very fun. So your nair is is safe in shield. Your nair is safe in shield if you fast fall and oh, I didn't get the right frame. If you fast fall and hit it kind of low to the ground, because then, then your nair would cancel the animation when you hit the floor, and you can shield, you can spot dodge, you can roll, jab, whatever you want, right? But you did nair a little too high on the shield, and you got punished for it, like that. See, you pro. Okay, so I'm show sure you again. So if you didn't nair it just a little bit slower, like okay, lower, my bad. 
Actually, it looks like it looks like you could have done something right here too. Maybe, maybe if you're a little bit slower, uh, like lower or something like that, right? But it's the only way you can make Nair safe and shield is if you hit fastball and hit the shield low, not too low though, because otherwise it's just gonna do out of shield option before you can even do the Nair, <clears throat> like grab or something. It's not very fun. And also, the, you were you were getting a good on it because you always like Nair then roll whatever, and now you're kind of that guy. He likes to grab your landing. That's weird. His new should be didn't launch the Hydra anywhere. I would have thought that it would have been higher. Good patience. He didn't throw the melon. Z job is good. See that those are the mix up I want you to do. With the Hydra landings. He almost got you out right there because he was um reactable. Actually it's probably because he thought you were gonna do down air or something, so he tried getting you in from the horizontal. But still. We're mixing him up but I like it. Just a little nitpick right here. This thing right here. Forward air, and then. Oh, what happened? Okay, I'm sorry. Right here. So we hit the forward air, and then instead of indulging right here, uh, pr a pretty common option for disadvantage is jumping away. But honestly, this guy's a pretty good player, so he's not gonna do that. But th th there's a water right here. I was gonna say, like, you should probably, like, let the water, like, fast fall into the wild air, and then like, dull jump and piss away. Like, call it the jump. I thought that'd be kind of cool. <laughs> Yeah, you don't jump though. See, so you have key. Yeah, you have key. That was good. So you, he was not like um, tech reeling like at all. He's only been neutral teching. So calling out the F smash right here was actually phenomenal. He had rage. Yeah, he was at seventy percent. He's a light character, right? That's cool. That was a really good read, and I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. I didn't say anything about Nutritech, but still, he, he was Nutritech in like every single time. So that was a really good call out. Bam. Alright, let's get into Gamer 2. Alright, so we get Gamer 2 here and we get FD again. I wonder why he's not. I'm pretty sure platform is bid for him more. But anyway, uh, we're not, I'm not the stage pick kind of genius or anything, so I don't want to get too. Don't listen to me. Listen to someone else, not me, right? I, I'm not really good at stages, but FD, really good back, man. He wants to do an out of shit option, right? His Nair is deceivingly if, um, safe on shield, I'm just saying. Aww, uh, I'm pretty sure you could have got a Galaga string there. Also, it's the second time he's done uh, Nutri B on top of the Hydrant. Into the Hydrant, not on top of it, whatever. And then he did dash attack immediately afterwards, right? I'm pretty sure that might actually break his shield. Maybe, no, it won't break his shield. It'll be coming close, but you can definitely shield grab it or whatever, right? After him, after doing dash attack. Maybe even up smash, maybe. Like I said earlier. So Mewtwo's like to do this is they like to mix up with the dash attack and a uh, grab. After putting pressure on your shield with uh Nutri B or whatever, or like, any kind of projectile, like if they reflect it on whatever like that. They like to run up here and they do the dash attack. Mostly because your shield's getting low and it's scary. But don't worry, like it's very, very rarely breaks your shield, right? It, your shield will get very low. And it's scary, but Again, but I should options. Playing bad. He did it twice, by the way, the B thing. And then that last time he rolled away, though. Okay. So now what he isn't seeing is that you keep jumping away from him at a disadvantage, and then after that you keep doing a hydrant, and then like 80, 90 percent of the times you land on top of him. With a weird, really weird up air. I don't understand why you're doing the up air. That's a really bad habit. I just got really upset with some other Pac Man because uh, he was doing that. I forget which one. Oh, that would that would have been a really good tech situation if they, had, if they hit that orange. Okay, so this is a, a thing I want to point out. Just want to talk about it a little bit. Is this. So, Pac Man's Treasure Fruit, there's no hydrant, right? What's your opponent going to do? So, either you're going to hold shield and he's going to wrap it and grab you, or you're going to throw the fruit, or you're going to cancel it and roll, or jump, or whatever it is, right? Those are your options, right? So, you just got to think, okay, if I approach my opponent, Pac-Man, is he going to throw the fruit on me, or is he going to hold shield? Those are like the most two common options, is throw the fruit, whatever fruit he has at the moment, or 
shield, right? It's pretty rare that you'll see Pekka roll, but it's a good option. Don't get me wrong. Char rolling out to charge speed is a really good option because it's most people don't see it don't every single time. Don't do it every single time. Um, so yeah, reflecting it, he thought you were gonna throw it for your own disadvantage. Instead, you hold shield, right? If he goes in there and grabs it next time, I'm just gonna point that out. That was a weird outage. Interesting call out. He holds shield after doing nair like a few times. I I can't remember if he's doing side tilt, but that is a mix up. You can do the nair into side tilt instead of shield. That's why I'm like conditioning you. Why the hydrant want launch to the right? You hit the right side. Oh, it bounced off the shield. Never mind. Again, the key is just, um, letting you land on top of him, like this. Spa he spaces his move correctly, and then he goes around and he punches you the grab or whatever he has, right? Double uh, dungeon, same thing. You keep jumping out of combos. You do the line, and then you land on top of the up there, really laggy up there on top of him. Like what? That was good. That was really good. I think your mix-ups with the uh, fruit. That's really good. I would put the hydro down, honestly, right here. I'm gonna put the hydro down and then get behind and charge fruit. And but instead, if you're gonna do this, it's fine. And that's really a combo. You juggle. Good uh, difference. They are good. Yeah. See, the water pushed you. Very interesting. That is a very skill. So rolling there is not the way to go. That's only okay. So like, I'm pretty sure in some scenarios, or all the time, that that need to be hits the uh, under ledge when you hang on here, right? Most of the time, I'm very patient when uh, I'm going against Lucario, Samus, Mewtwo, any kind of charge shot thing. I always be very patient on ledge, and I go, okay, when you can throw it, because then I kind of abuse my Nutri get up ever ability, and I go and I power through the um, the charge shot I want to call it, right? And then you gotta mix up, okay, after he says, is he gonna go for grab, is he gonna do dash attack, is he gonna call up my jump, is he gonna call up my roll, like, what is he gonna do? But rolling there, no. That's only if he's gonna, like, charge, and uh, cancel the charge, and then run up here for some reason, then you go for roll. But he hasn't been doing that. Uh, honestly, I, I would just run at him with a fruit, and then wait for him to do that, and then get under him, get to the right, get above him, get behind him, right? Or wait, try, it, it looks like a very safe reflecting move. So again, you jump out of combos. That's yeah. He has no jump. Again, he, he has a teleport. You can't really do that against him. Good call. Get the Galka. Get the Galka. Oh, he's fine too. What are I don't understand why. Wadi is respecting that. Like he needs to like freaking do nair. Or he it literally anything he can throw any kind of a move and it beats the up there. <laughs> Whatever. Like I want to see you do a, a safe nair, which means like landing like right here and then do nair, right? I want to see you do this. Bam! That's a safe move right there. And then you hold you hold shield and you you let him hit, you do this and you let him do that whatever you go up there and he's gonna shield after doing an air you grab him do a juggle right he's gonna air dodge the juggle and there's this thing again he keep like you keep trying to land on top of him when he had like no dodge him whatever and he keeps spacing it right he fr he messed up right there but so his new speed does not hit under ledge. Also, after throwing it, ooh, actually, maybe it does. Maybe it does. Because it looks like the Trisha kind of moves up and down like a squiggly line. So maybe if he spaces it right, then it hit like, as the squiggly line goes down and hits you. Be careful, <laughs> right? Anyway, so after he throws it, he goes in, right? That's the only time you, I want to see you roll in that scenario, right? But then again, he can just react to it. There it is. So yeah, it, it does. I, I was gonna say I'm pretty sure it does it on a ledge. It does. It's hard to react to, especially since this is online. You gotta get up that, or just drop down and abuse the Galka right here. You have the Galka in hand. Yeah, you have the Galka. Just throw, go. You, you do that fast, right? And you force him to shield. He can't shield on the side B quicker than you can jump down and Galka, right? So. 
bam, bam, and then he's gonna have force to be shielding. He's good out of shoot option like Nair or up air or whatever he does, right? But instead, we just kind of sit there, because right, like Galka beats a charge shot. So I was like, I don't know why he didn't throw it like as soon as he got up to that ledge, but whatever. Anyway, we gotta get number three here. All right, we gotta get number three here, and we got Smashville. Uh, some characters, same players, blah blah blah. Here we go. That was an interesting start. Again, he tried air dodging out of the combo. There's a near, there's an out of shoot option. He goes, he's got a game. Any kind of, any kind of character, the Beaverse is going, he's gonna have a Beaverse ha habit here. I'm just saying, they all do. Here's let's chat. He also does it twice, by the way. So the, the reason why he does it twice is to cover the rule, like I said earlier. He also he did it twice when I said the rule too, so I, I apologize for that. But basically, he does big charge shot, little one to cover the roll, and then whatever from there. And then he, then he joins up, right? Okay, you almost got that. And this is what I said or do earlier. Rolling was fine too, but I would prefer a shield. Like that, see that how you made it safe, and then he does narrow shield because he, he's going to do the narrow shield, right? And you, and you grab him. I'm pretty sure that if you had not rolled, you would have been get get out of that shield zone quicker. And grab him. But he rolled out. He rolled out. Approach, he's been approaching with Nair a lot too. We have Bell right now. See, he doesn't. He has a big charge shot, little charge shot. And that's to cover the roll. And he's going to grab you. He try, I'm pretty sure he tried grabbing you right there. But because he didn't air, yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure I saw a little frame of the grab emanation. When you have fruit and he's in disadvantage, he's just gonna do the side B. See that? You see that? If you do nail like that every single time, it's safe. Like that. See how low you were and see how fast you could get out of that animation? You can hold shield here. Hold shield. The roll there, okay, I think I know why you're rolling. Because he mixes up with um, grabbing your landing and he also does uh, narrow shield. I think that's why you're rolling, because you can avoid both of them. Yeah, good DI. Where'd the key go? Oh, okay, it did hit him. Okay, it was just fast. Okay. <laughs> that just beat up my shit? Yes, it does. Yeah, frick you, Wadi. Good, because we, okay, again, we know that he's going to neutral tech. He hasn't been missing, mixing it up, right? Bam, forward air, fix situation. Bam, Galka, Giko set up, right? He's done. He was done, if you had not missed that, but what's, whatever. What the frick is that, huh? What is that? <laughs> Why are we doing that? If you're playing against me, I'll punish you. I, I will take you across the stage if you keep doing that. Okay, we got interesting. He he's dead. This is the dead man. Yeah. Uh, was it, it, for you? This was no, no. He uh, he um he grabbed a ledge and he dropped him down from ledge instead of him. So he lost his ledge of vulnerability, right? Okay, so this is a very bad situation right here. It's hard to hit, but if you go a little bit above ledge, with the side B, you pop this way. And the only way to cancel that DI to the left is if you trampoline. So basically, Polka just had to do that. Because anyway, he's just gonna way down here and it would suck. He may have double jump, I don't know, but he would have jumped into the thing. Okay. This is what I said the when the second game when you lost. Just throw immediately. He starts he can't get side B out fast enough, right? Throw it immediately. Bam. Right? Into the Galka. But instead of hit the Galka, hit him first and keep him a hit stone for as long as possible so you can get uh, like another follow up. You hit forward air with the Galka. So, which you should have done to extend the combo as maximum as possible, right here. So, good, good, good. Galka hits him. So, uh, right there, as it cans back, you let the Galka hit him. He got, he launches right up here, right? And you, it's, instead of doing this forward air, you run up here. And you do forward here, and then you forward here, right? That's, that's another two forward airs right there. Also, air dodge out of combos. Also, you keep double jumping on combos, and now you don't have double jump to recover. And also, you're you're um, you're doing a uh, you don't have double jump. You charge a fruit, so you're forced to air dodge here. In which I was going to okay, never mind. He's not gonna he's not gonna throw it out. 
Why did he get up attack? Obviously, you, you keep wasting your jump. So that jump is also a potential air dodge that you could have done, right? There is a thing I was talking about. Got to look up for that. Okay, so if you if you were a little bit slower, I, I know you're going for the read again, but if you're a little bit slower, you could have got that. What the frick? I don't know, Wadi. If you ever watch this, what are you doing? <laughs> And I mean that in the nicest way possible. Because Wadi's a better player than I am. But, like, look at Polka. <laughs> like, do, doing up air this way is, like, not even good. Like, But he's doing up air this way. That's in Nair. And he's doing Nair out of shield every single time. Like, that's a free Nair. And he just, Wadi just lets Polka do this stupid thing. And I mean, I guess Polka, if your pod doesn't catch on to things like that, keep doing it. Right, but I th it's just so hard to watch. And <laughs> why are you not doing anything about that? Sure. There's a dash like the case. Remember, you keep trying to land top of him, and he keeps putting space. That was good in um uh, Tom Hog grab though. You try Tom Hog grabbing him again. You know why you Tom Hog grabbing him is because he he keeps holding shield, rising on top of him. So yeah, totally okay. It's a bit harder for Pac-Man to tell my grab, though. I find. So instead of being afraid of the hydrant, our tool, is we should know that that was not a fully charged and then you should be, instead of holding shield and cowering, we should have just side tilted it and put pressure on it. If he side, if he side uh, bees it, the reflecting, then we roll or we spot dodge. We cannot shield the hydrant. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it'll break your shield, right? But instead, we got shield pokes. We wasted double jump. We aided the panicking air dodge. He's gonna react to that. No, come on. Hold shield. Hold shield. Your nair is safe. Wall pressure. Stop double jump. Got of combos. That's it. okay. You do not have double jump. You do not have uh, air dodge. That was a free back air right there. If instead of instead of charge, now uh, uh, charge shot right here, that's a free back air right there. You can't do double jump them. You can't do anything like that. I wonder if that was true because you didn't even input a uh, double jump at the time. Anyway. Uh, stop dodging jumping out of his combos. Um, he kept air dodging out of it. He kept neutral attacking, which you did. You were punishing it, but I think you freaked up at like two or three times, right? So we can be a, a little bit better at execution right there. Um, the lots of trapping with the charge shot. What else was there? Um, that's mostly it. And Wadi, if you ever watch this, punish his freaking hydrant landing, man. He, he did a stupid, oh my god, he did a stupid landing up there. That's not going to hit you, Wadi, ever. <laughs> it's not gonna hit you unless you jump into it. Which, oh man, whatever. Anyway, um, yeah, that's it. Goodbye.